everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. I've got a fun, colorful project to share with you for all to new featuring their floral shadow stamp set. And so let's dive right in. I've got a panel of Bristol paper and I'm using some delicious Distress Oxide inks, picking out my favorite colors in all the land. I started with picked raspberry, then I did a little spice marmalade. This color here on the top is fossilized amber. And then the next color is my favorite color in the whole wide world, Twisted Citron. Now, you could have done this with the Alta New inks. They have the most beautiful color inks as well. But I wanted to try the Oxide inks on Bristol paper. You've probably heard people say this before, that they blend like butter. But I'm telling you, when you use them on Bristol paper, if butter could get any buttery, it's buttery butter. It's butterier butter. Is that even a phrase? Probably not. But I went for a really subtle, light, hand, dreamy background. And now I'm using the same colors with the Floral Shadow stamp set by Alta New and just going around the perimeter, stamping the same color where I ink blended that color. Are you following me? So again, picked raspberry, spice marmalade, fossilized amber, and I'm working my way around. And I'm loving this. Now, normally, I, I like a nice, stark, white card base. I love white space. It's just one of my things. Kind of wanted to just step out of the box and try something a little different for once, you know? And just spice it up. So I ink blended on the background and then stamped over. And I was afraid. I was starting to panic a little bit here because it's getting a little muddy for my clean and simple taste, a little bit muddy, but here's the main reason why I use the Distress Inks, because I knew I wanted to flick on lots of flicks of water. I'm using the nozzle off of my spray, um, my spray bottle. And then as well, I smushed a couple of Distress Inks on an acrylic block. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I smushed the ink on an acrylic block, because I'm working on a craft mat. I could have just smushed it right on the craft mat. I picked it up with a wet brush, flick it on my panel. Why I'm using an acrylic block, I have no idea. Anyway, picking it up with a wet brush, flicking it on. I'm using similar colors to what I used in my panel. So I flicked on some cracked pistachio, a little picked raspberry. Now I'm doing some fossilized amber. If you haven't caught on, I'm to the point when you're in a card, you know, and you don't know when to say when. Can you tell I've gotten there? I just keep on adding and flicking and adding more to it. And I'm I'm already past the panic zone of going overboard. Now I just stopped, I let it dry, I'm gonna add a sentiment. Now I'm embossing the smile from the Halftone Smile stamp set, embossing that in white on a piece of dark teal cardstock that kinda of coordinates with my panel. I'm hoping I can pull this all together. You know when you're in the middle of a card and you're not sure if it's a disaster or if it's a masterpiece. I'm somewhere in that mid zone. So I cut it out with the coordinating die, the half tone smile die, and now I'm going to stamp a coordinating sentiment that's also in the half tone smile stamp set. So it's going to say, Smile, it looks good on you. And I popped up, I trimmed out that colorful background panel and popped it up on a white card base so I could at least get a little bit of white in there. I have to have some white to finish it off as if I didn't add enough already some Nouveau Jewel Drops in light colors, of course. So this is rainbow happiness in your face coming at you. You're either gonna love this or you're gonna hate it. You're gonna take it, you're gonna leave it. But there is one thing that we can all agree on. Is that right? Is that smiling looks good on you? Am I right? I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.